Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my second update for my project pan. So I have the products right here with me and I'm going to start with eyes. So the first product I will have is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and this is my current progress. So as you can see I'm still making decent progress on this product. Uh, however, I feel like the progress is a tiny bit less this time around and I don't really know why because I feel like I use this every day and um, I don't feel like I used this less this month uh, compared to last month. Uh, however, I'm filming this update a tiny bit earlier um, and also February is shorter. I don't know if that has anything to do it with it. Um, but yeah, that is my progress on my Urban Decay uh, Eyeshadow Primer Potion and yeah, this is going uh, steady. So next for eyes we have this product which is the Couture Mono in number 4 from YSL uh, and I'm actually not using this as an eyeshadow currently, I'm using this as my contour powder uh, and I will show you the progress. So this is where I am currently and uh, I'm actually getting a really big dip on one of the sides, it's, it's on this side, I don't know if you can tell um, but when I hit my brush it goes on in on this side and yeah I feel like I'm getting progress on this and um, there's still no nowhere near pan but yeah I can definitely see a dip in this I don't know if you can on camera I think you can kind of see the dip there so yeah I'm working on this product but I think this will be hanging around for a bit longer so moving on to some exciting progress I have my light and shade eyeshadow in glitzy stone from Isadora and this is my current progress so I hit pan on the light shade last time, uh, I will pop up a picture. I only had a pan on this shade, which I actually also hit side pan on, if you can see that there. And I also can hit considerable pan on the light shade. So I'm super super excited about my progress on this uh, duo. I've been finding it a bit hard to use my Project Pan eyeshadows since I'm also doing a panda palette but I feel like these two shades go really well with my uh, Stila palette uh, and yeah I'm still working through these and I'm so excited to see uh, more pan in this product. Hi guys it's the next day and I just wanted to pop in uh, to tell you that I'm a big klutz because I actually dropped the eyeshadow duo when I was going to put, uh, take the picture for the update uh, and I had to repress the dark shade because it shattered everywhere but I managed to save uh, all of the eyeshadow because the packaging stayed closed so I repressed it yesterday and I will show you what it looks like when it's repressed so yeah this is what the eyeshadow duo looks like currently uh, as you can see probably uh, I have like a little dip in it but yeah that's what the dark shade looks like currently uh, yeah I basically just want to pop in and say that, but back to the video. The next eyeshadow that I have is uh, my MAC one, and this is uh, one of the extra dimension eyeshadows in Amorous Alloy. I will again pop up my picture of where I was last time, and this is my current progress. So as you can see, uh, the pattern is still visible, however, I'm wearing this down as well. Um, it's just... I haven't gotten as much use out of this shade uh, in the last month as I did in January but I'm still working on this and uh, I feel like my issue with this is that I introduced my Panda palette and that kind of made me focus on that because it's easy to reach for and I am trying to incorporate these eyeshadows into those looks um, but I kind of feel like I put this on the back burn for this month but I actually find a combination with one of the shades in my Stila palette that I really like with this. Uh, so I will be doing that more for March. So the last eye product that I have is my eyeliner from Rimmel and this is their uh, eyeliner in Nude. So this is what it's looking like currently uh, and I will also show you this on my paper. So as you can see this is my progress right there uh, and the top line is where I started and then first update and now second update if my camera wants to focus. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm getting there. I feel like I could probably get through this in about, I don't know, another three months maybe, if I'm using it at the same rate as I am now. So this will be, sorry, <laughs> the light got very bright now. Yeah, so I think I will be able to finish this off in um, about 
maybe three months if I'm using it the same pace as I am currently. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this still and it's like a really good eyeliner but it's still hanging around in my project. So the next product that I have is my Dirty Blonde uh, Fluid Line Brow Gel from MAC. And yeah, this is my current progress and yeah, I feel like I'm working on this and I can tell a little bit of a difference but I feel like it would be really hard for you to see it on camera. But yeah, I'm using this every day as my eyebrow um, product and yeah, it's still going strong and I'm trying to work through this but I have no idea how long this will last but hopefully I can get through this this year. Then again to some exciting progress, I have my sleek contour kit and this is in light and I will pop a picture up where I was last time and where I am now. So this is where I am currently and look at all of that pan in the highlighter. Um, if you compare it to the picture from last time, this is a huge difference and I actually hit like pan all the way down here. And I'm working on this in that corner. My goal for next time is to flatten this out. Uh, so use up this corner and like kind of like uh, finish off this half of the pan. The only thing about this product is I'm not sure how much progress I will make on this in the next month. Since I added two highlights in my uh, mini madness project pan for March. Yeah, uh, about the bronzer, I definitely have a dip in this. Um... I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can probably tell a little bit there. Um, but it's still going strong and I'm using that every day basically. I'm wearing it today. Um, and yeah, I really like that bronzer. Um, but yeah, I have no idea how long it will take me to finish that, but I'm still working on it. So the next product in my product pan is my blush from the Body Shop and this is in the shade Nutmeg. And this is where I am today. So. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm getting, I'm doing a number on this. Um, I don't know how close I am to hitting a pan again, but I can see the dip getting bigger and bigger. So yeah, I've been wearing this blush a lot. I wore it almost every day in February, um, except for a few days, but this is a good blush and it goes with basically all looks. And yeah, um, I really started loving this product and I, it was actually my February favorites and I will link that up in the cards as well. Uh, but yeah, similarly with this, I'm not sure how much progress I will be able to make uh, in the next month since I added another blush in my March Mini Madness project. So I will be alternating the two blushes, but yeah, this is my current progress on this. Then moving on to lip products in this project. The first one is my Soap and Glory uh, Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Sticks in the shade Nudist. And this is actually all done. And the only thing that's sticking up here is the plastic. I don't know if you can tell, but this is all done. And I will try to get a swatch out for you. <laughs> yeah, that's the best swatch I can get out of this. It's completely gone. I absolutely flew through this product uh, and I think that is because it is very sheer and also like glossy. And the staying power of this is an amazing. So I think that's why I um, went through it so quickly because I kept reapplying it at work and this was really moisturizing and I really really enjoyed having this at my desk and reapplying after drinking tea or coffee just to like have something on my lips and it gave a nice new color and also a really good gloss to your lips um, and I'm not that into glossy lips but I prefer this type of product over a gloss and I actually really really enjoyed this product and it has a super nice vanilla scent that I enjoyed. But I will show you where I was on the paper. So if you look at my paper, that's where I started, right up here. And now it's all gone. So I made a really good number on this product. So yeah, I really, really like this product. Um, I feel like this is a good type of product to have on like every day to keep in your purse or something. Like I mentioned, it doesn't have the best color payoff and um, you can probably tell but I really like uh, bolder lips or more opaque lipsticks and uh, I was really surprised that I like this because usually I don't gravitate towards these types of colors at all but I love having this uh, with me at work like I mentioned and reapplying throughout the day and I think that's why I went through it so quickly. And then the last product from last month is this one from Revlon and this is in the color Shares in the Snow. And this is how much I have left currently. 
So I did pretty decently on this. Um, I definitely didn't use it as much as I used the Soap and Glory lipstick. And I don't know if I made a mistake putting this in because it is more of a fall color for me. But hopefully I will be able to use this up um, in the next couple of months uh, before summer. Um, but I will show you my progress on the paper. So as you can see, this is where I started and that is where I am currently. So I used up that much. So basically a third of this lipstick I used up uh, this far. And then since I used up one product, I will be adding one more product in since this is a rolling project pan. And the product that I'm choosing to add in is my Bobbi Brown Corrector in the shade Light Bisque. And I actually already have pan on this product, uh, as you can see here. And yeah, um, I'm just hoping to finish this off because I had this for a really long time and this is the type of product that I don't use every day uh, unless I have a reason to and I feel like I want to add this in because yeah, I just something that I'm basically neglecting and um, yeah, it's a really really nice product and I just would like to finish this up. So those are all the products that are in my project pan currently and I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't checked out my March Mini Madness project pan, uh, please check it out. I will leave a link up in the cards and yeah, um, I really hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys!